Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today as promised on Instagram I have a eight perfumes I would not repurchase. I think I told you on Instagram I had seven but I actually realized I have eight that I would not repurchase if I could go back in time or once I am out of these bottles. So if you guys are interested then stay tuned and also if you haven't subscribed definitely consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future fragrance related content and without further ado let's get started. All right, guys, so I do have actually eight perfumes to share with you. I know I told you I had seven, but I actually do have eight perfumes that I'm gonna be sharing with you that I would not buy again for one reason or other. But before we get started in today's video, I do wanna share with you this absolutely gorgeous rose bouquet from Rose Forever. Um, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Rose Forever. I have the other one, the little round one in the black velvet case and um, in the color white, and I absolutely love them. I use them in my pictures all the time. And they offered to send me another Another one to share with you guys and I wasn't sure about this one when I first got it I'll be honest because I was like I don't know if I want pink but I wanted to try something different and I actually really really like them so if you guys haven't heard of Rose Forever they are a company in New York and they make rose arrangements that are made of real roses and they have been preserved to last for, they say, up to a year. They just came out with these really beautiful crystal ones. I absolutely love them because they're very minimal. They have like a very minimal aesthetic. They don't look like they take up a lot of room on your dresser or wherever you wanna use them. And then this particular one here actually comes with a little drawer in the bottom, which I love. So actually just for the purposes of today's video, I put a couple of jewelry pieces in here, but I like how it looks so much. I think I might leave it um, but yeah it just looks so pretty and you can really store whatever you want in it and these make excellent um, background decor if you are an influencer or a video creator or if you're looking for that perfect gift for a Mother's Day gift or Christmas or wedding shower something like that they're just really really beautiful by the way they have all different colors they have baby blue they have purple um, and they have all different shapes and sizes they come in different types of containers and if you guys are interested you can save $15 off your order with the code alithia15 so i will have everything linked down below including a few more details about the company um, but i definitely recommend checking them out i'm absolutely obsessed they make the most pretty instagram pictures as well so now let's get into our perfumes so starting off in no particular order you guys the first one that i would not repurchase is fresh cream warm cashmere by philosophy and again just to reiterate this does not mean that these are bad perfumes or that i no longer like them and i'm not planning to declutter these i'm using them up um, but these are just ones that I would not buy again. So this one is actually an eau de toilette and it's actually such a beautiful, soft, cozy, sweet, comforting scent. Um, this smells to me like fresh buttercream frosting. It smells like buttercream frosting and a cashmere sweater and it's wonderful. So I actually have put a dent in here as you guys can see and that makes me really happy. I'm always so proud of myself when I put a dent in my perfumes because I have so many of them that I don't want them to stay full. I actually want to use them up. I want to see a dent because that means that I like them and it means I'm actually using them. So the reason I wouldn't buy this one again is because unfortunately it doesn't have a good lasting power. Um, it doesn't really project. It kind of is like, a body spray type of thing or like a lotion it kind of has that kind of performance in fact probably even less performance than some lotions I've tried um, but what I really like this for is actually spraying my linen so I will actually spray my bedding with this and I really like the way it makes my duvet cover smell and my pillows and yeah so this has kind of turned into a linen spray for me and that's what I'm using it for yeah so that is the first one that I would not repurchase fresh cream warm cashmere the second one that I would not repurchase, this is Valentino Voce Viva. So this is actually a beautiful, um, kind of a fresh, spicy, floral, vanilla scent. This is actually really, really nice for the summertime. This has, um, I think there's ginger in this. It's a very fresh, um, like fresh, spicy scent, and it's very sweet and pretty and floral. And there is a little bit of vanilla in this too, I believe. This is actually beautiful. It's pretty. It's one of those like no-brainer grab-and-go scents that you just don't have to think about you can just put it on before you head out the door and it just works and it's nice and it's feminine and it smells good and whatever but it's kind of for that reason i don't absolutely love it 
I do reach for it though, like not these days because it's too cold, but I do like this if I don't know what to wear. Um, but there's other ones that I would rather wear when I don't know what to wear, or there's other like everyday scents that I do love a lot, like Miss Dior or something like that, or Coco Mademoiselle. Like there's other ones that I think are more interesting. This one for me is unfortunately a little bit unremarkable, a little bit basic. I hate to say it, but it kind of falls under that category for me. Um, the same categories like Dahlia Devin from Givenchy or just some of those like basic, they're nice, but that's about it. They're just basic and nice, you know, but to me, it's not special. I don't like, I like it, but I don't find it special the way I do with some of my other perfumes. It's almost like too easy to grab and go to a fault, if you know what I mean. So I like it. I will use it. It's pretty, but I would not repurchase it. The third one that I would not repurchase, this one is um, I was going to say it's paper and waxed wood. What a terrible name for a perfume. This is Whispers in the Library from Replica or from Maison Margiela. I actually love this. You guys know I love this. I told you that it reminded me of like, it gave me a nostalgic feeling because it reminded me of like a really old library, an old school room, an old house, like an antique house. It truly does smell like old books and an old house and vanilla and wood. And it's just a very cozy wonderful perfume. I really, really like this. I actually have a little dent. You can see not a big one, but I have a little one because I've been spraying this a lot at home. I find this to be like the perfect at home scent. Like when I'm just bumming around the house, it's cold outside. I just want to feel cozy. It's that kind of scent. I just put it on when I'm hanging out at home and it just makes me feel really nice and cozy. The reason I wear it for that is twofold. Number one, I don't necessarily want to smell like a library. Like I like the way it smells, but I don't necessarily find now that I want to smell that way when I go out, but also because the performance on this is not very good. And I think I've heard other people say that before. Um, it's really nice, but it just doesn't have the performance. Beautiful, but I would not repurchase this one again, but I will use it up. I'm gonna spray it at home and wear it when I go to bed and that kind of thing. So the next one that I will not repurchase is Viva La Juicy Bodacious. If you guys watch my channel, you already know the story behind this one and you know why I have this one. This is basically a very sweet, um, coconutty version of the original Viva La Juicy. So the only reason I have this, the sole reason is because my boyfriend really likes it and I watched a video um, a few months back that said, if you want to have like, um, if you want to smell really good and you want to get, you know, compliments from men and perfumes that men really like, this was one of the ones on that list. And I was like, okay, fine. So I blind purchased it and it's very, very young. <laughs> I don't think I have to say it smells very young and like quite juvenile. And there's nothing wrong with that. If I was, you know, 15 or 16, I think I would really like this, but for my age, it definitely does feel a little bit too young for me. It's just not a classy perfume. It's just not an elegant perfume. I think it's a great perfume in many senses. It smells good. It's undeniably good. Um, but yeah, I would not repurchase this one. And the reason for that is that I prefer the Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. And I don't think you need two Viva La Juicy's. I think you can find one if you're looking for like that flirtatious Viva La Juicy scent that you just want that like no brainer. If you're going to be hanging out with your partner or your going out with a guy and you want to smell like very sexy and flirtatious. Um, these are great perfumes for that. They're uh, notorious for that, right? And my boyfriend loves this. So I won't repurchase this one because I do prefer Gold Couture. I don't think I need both of them. The Gold Couture is a little bit more mature, I find, and it's probably the one out of the Viva La Juicy's that I actually do like the most. And I actually like the Gold Couture. This one is too young for me, too juvenile, too like, yeah, I just can't do it. So um, I will use this up for sure. And when I'm done, I think I will just stick to my good old gold couture. The next one that I would not repurchase is probably going to come as a surprise to many of you. And I do apologize because when I first purchased this, I was head over heels in love with it. And I still do really, really like it. It's a delicious, um, kind of a coconutty oriental vanilla floral scent, and it's beautiful. The only reason I would not repurchase it is because as I've told you guys in a couple of other videos, I don't reach for it. For some reason, I do not reach for it. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I have other ones that I just prefer more for the evening time. Um, I prefer Noir Pour Femme from Tom Ford. I prefer um, Olympia. What else do I prefer? I prefer Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle, Marc Jacobs Decadence, Dior Addict, Narcisso Rouge. Like there's just so many that I go for before I grab for this one. Yeah, I just don't grab for this one. It's delicious, but 
I don't think I would purchase it again. I have a huge bottle. I am going to use it up, obviously, because I still really, really like it, and it's a beautiful scent and whatever, but I just really don't think I will repurchase this one because I just don't grab for it enough. The next one that I would not repurchase is Olympia Intense from Paco Rabanne. So again, this is one that I really, really like. I love the original Olympia. You guys know that. That is one that I have consistently said is one of my favorites from the very beginning. I absolutely love the original Olympia because it has this super salty, like zesty, pungent kind of opening. I just love it. This one is similar to the original Olympia, but this one is a lot more ambery, vanilla-y. Um, a little bit like sweeter and not so salty and not so interesting. It's a lot less complex and I like it, but I don't love it. I don't love it as much as the original and that's why I would not repurchase this. Don't get me wrong, it's very good. I actually wore it the other day and I could still smell it on my shirt the next day and I really like it, but I like immediately I was like, no, I prefer the original better. So good one. It's nice. I like it, but I would not repurchase this. I would just stick with my good old original Olympia. Um, and the original one also is good for any occasion. You can wear it for date nights, but you can also wear it during the day where this one, I think you can only wear, or I would only wear this in the evening or cold weather. So the original one you can just wear for all occasions and you don't necessarily need a nighttime version. So yeah, I would not repurchase this one. The next one that I would not repurchase is from Mika and this is Mon Parfum Cristal. This is a toffee, vanilla, and rose scent. This is mostly a pink rose scent, and it has a little bit of like a base and an underlying supporter of toffee and vanilla, and it's really, really nice. This was a blind purchase, and it is a beautiful perfume. It's very classy, very elegant, um, but I don't think I'd repurchase it again because even though I think it's really beautiful, it's not one that I would have purchased had I smelt it in the store. If I would have smelt it on a paper or had the associate spray it on my skin for me, I don't think I would have fallen in, fell in. I don't think I would have fallen in love with it. And so again, it's a pretty one. I will try to use it. I don't know how often I'm going to use it because it is kind of a very elegant scent. Um, it's a little bit more mature. It's not super sexy. I wouldn't say it's a very elegant, um, semi-sweet rose scent and I could see myself wearing this for a wedding or a really formal occasion like a very formal occasion so and I just don't go to enough weddings or have enough formal occasions to wear this whole bottle so I I would not buy this again so that one I will not be repurchasing and finally you guys the last one that I would not be repurchasing once I'm done with it is the homage love tuberose so I hope you guys don't think I'm crazy this was not even a blind purchase I actually had a decant and I really liked it and it's my first ever homage scent and it's really beautiful this is tuberose and whipped cream and I'm actually I'm kind of on the fence about this one whether or not I'd repurchase it, but I'm leaning toward no. And I think it's because even though it is such a beautiful scent, I have no idea when I can wear this. I tried wearing it the other day because it's a very sweet scent. Um, it's perfectly balanced whipped cream and tuberose and gardenia. So it's a white floral, but it's also like a dessert and it's really delicious. I prefer this to um, Vert Malachite from Armani Privé, which is a very floral scent. Um, I just, I really, really like this and it's beautiful and the bottle is gorgeous. But like I say, I tried wearing it the other day um, on a cold day thinking, oh yeah, this is the perfect day to wear this. I need a cooler day when it's like not going to suffocate me. And it was so strong and so like elegant and so white floral. And I was just like, it didn't feel right. I'm going to have to try wearing it maybe in the summertime with a lighter hand because maybe I just need the white florals to work better with the weather or something, but it just didn't feel right. And I was like, I don't know, like to me, this is kind of a special occasion perfume, like wedding. I could honestly wear this for my own wedding day. Um, maybe I'll save it and save it for like a really formal occasion. I don't know, but it's such a beautiful scent. But again, it's one of those scents that it smells beautiful, but you don't necessarily need to wear it. Like it's a scent you can appreciate, but you don't need to necessarily wear it. That's how I feel for myself. It's so pretty, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know if that's ever happened to you guys that you love the way a perfume smells, but then when you actually wear it, you're like, mm, 
I don't know if this fits for me. Please don't judge me, you guys. I still absolutely love this. I think it's a beautiful scent and it's expensive and it's my first ever homage, but at this point in time, I would say that I don't think I would repurchase it if I could go back. I'd probably try to get something a little bit more wearable for all occasions. And yeah, but yeah, I don't wanna collect perfumes for the sake of just having it, even though it is so pretty. So you guys, that is it for my eight perfumes that I would not repurchase again. And I just wanna say again, as a disclaimer, this does not mean that any of these are not good perfumes or that I don't really like them. Um, just for one reason or other, I don't think I would repurchase them. So please let me know your thoughts down below. And I would also like to know um, what are some perfumes you have in your collection that you would probably not repurchase and why? Yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope that you all have a wonderful night. And don't forget to check out um, the discount for Rose Forever if you're interested in some beautiful decor for your home. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed watching. Please head on over and follow me on Instagram if you like, where I share a lot of little tidbits of my life that I don't share here on YouTube. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now. Bye.